College acceptance letters are starting to fill mailboxes, but the thrill of getting into a school is quickly replaced with uncertainty, as many families wonder how they're going to afford it. Tom Warner Cable News reporter Brianna Foos takes us to FAFSA Fest, where those questions were answered Sunday. It seems everything has a deadline. That includes the free application for federal student aid. We noticed many years ago that um, there are particular pockets in our community, uh, pockets of students and families who don't get the financial aid form completed in a timely fashion. That's a problem, considering many scholarships are on a first-come, first-served system. So to make sure Rochester students don't miss out, FAFSA Fest was created. <laughs> With recent pay stubs and prior tax returns in hand, students and their parents sat down to fill out the all-important application. Nine out of ten Rochester City School District students use financial aid to help make college an affordable reality. This is so great, like getting help from someone. Like I don't really know how to do this, and I was really scared. Shakira Colon will be one of those students. She's already been accepted into Monroe Community College. I'm gonna do two years and then transfer like to John Fisher. Her goal is to become a nurse. Now other students like Gabe Bailey were just ready to get the hour-long application process over with. I mean, kind of got to do it. Bailey plans to start his studies at MCC as well. He has a whole list of career possibilities. Planning to go into musical engineering or recording technology um, or graphic design. But tackling what's described as the daunting FAFSA is just the beginning. Then comes taking out the money. We got some advice on that too. Federal student loans are probably the best kind of, of student loans that a student can get, but you are borrowing and you do have to repay those loans when you graduate. So we always encourage students to borrow as little as they can. For many young students, this is the first of many critical lessons to be learned, no matter what their major is. In Rochester, Brianna Foose, Time Warner Cable News.